Well, e-cigarettes have become a popular new way to smoke, but the city of College Station made an ordinance that bans minors from buying or smoking e-cigs. Now, Bryan businesses are doing the same without a city ordinance. KAG's HD News reporter Ian Smith shows us why Bryan businesses are taking a stand without legislation in place. With e-cigarettes being a newer alternative to smoking the real thing, Ernie Garcia's doors see a lot of traffic. It's fairly, it's fairly busy. I mean, popular. I sell quite a bit. With more flavors than a snow cone stand, it's no wonder e-cigarettes are popular. But at this shop, not everyone can have a taste. I'm not selling to any miners, not letting any miners in. And it's, it's sad to see kids, you know, want to try to fit in with the other people. Of the places we've been to in Bryan, we found one common reason why they won't sell e-cigarettes to minors. And it's simple. They say they're bad for you. And they don't want young people getting hooked. There's so many reasons. The kids, they don't want a kid to start smoke and everything. And it's not good for health. I think it's the right thing to do not to allow kids to smoke. It's, it's bad. It's been proven. So we don't, we don't encourage it. Even though e-cigarettes contain vapor instead of smoke, they do have something in common with the real thing, nicotine, a drug that could get teens hooked. Today they can smoke uh, E, tomorrow they're going to smoke real one. Say, so, oh, it's not strong enough, let's buy that one. And with new state laws being considered, laws that would make it illegal for minors to buy or smoke e-cigarettes, Ernie Garcia says things won't change at his store. I just try to abide by the law, so if they say don't sell the minors, we're not going to sell the minors. So for now, businesses in Bryan can sell e-cigarettes to minors. They just choose not to. In Brazos County, Ian Smith, KAGS HD News. Even though minors can purchase e-cigarettes in Bryan, that's not the case in College Station. Violators in College Station will have to pay a fine if they're caught with e-cigarettes.